So you already know about Windows 10, I mean, I would really hope so, and you might have even seen my video a while back talking about Windows 10 S, which you should not get, it's a garbage version of Windows, but have you heard of the upcoming Windows 10 X? Maybe not, because it's not even out yet, but that's what we're going to talk about in this video. It's kind of interesting, and unlike Windows 10 S, it might actually be worth using in some situations on certain devices for which it's designed, so let's get into it. Now, a while back, Microsoft did actually make a brief announcement of the existence of Windows 10 X, and they didn't really give that many details on it, except that it was mostly gonna be planned to be used for like foldable devices, dual screen devices, that sort of thing. However, a more recent leak of documents, internal documents from Microsoft, reveal that Windows 10 X might actually be also used on even traditional like laptops, single clamshell folding devices, in addition to the dual screen devices like they announced in their keynote, which was specifically the uh, Surface Neo. So that's a upcoming next year dual screen device. And they did actually show off some of the features running Windows 10X on this Surface Neo. So this isn't a final build or anything, but you can see some of the stuff they showed. Like one of these features they're calling spanning makes it so if you take a program that's on one screen, you can span it across both screens. It'll be actually able to take advantage of both screens and show a little bit different info, almost like having two separate windows, except it's for the same program. So it's a little bit different than if you were to have just a dual monitor setup and try to expand that across both screens. Obviously that would just split the program down the middle, whereas this, it's kind of like having two separate windows, but not really, it just spans across them. They also showed a couple other examples how dual screen devices might be a little bit more advantageous, like if you're having one program on the left side and you open a link out of an email or whatever, then it'll actually open the link and the web browser on the other screen separately so it doesn't pop up, it makes sense. They also showed how, at least on devices like this, it would have different postures that are possible. So meaning you could have the screens either side by side or top and bottom. And at least with the Neo where they have a specially designed keyboard to integrate specifically with that device, if you fold it up onto the second screen, it'll know that it's there and adapt the screen to that so you'll have like some extra information you can show above the keyboard. It's not like the keyboard will be blocking out anything on the screen because it will move anything that was under the keyboard in that area up above it. And part of the remaining screen can actually be used as a trackpad. So that's pretty cool. Now that was all they showed during the keynote demo, which wasn't a lot, but there is a lot more other information that was released by Microsoft officially in their limited blog post, as well as some of the pictures from the leaked document, which we can also look at. For example, the start menu is gonna look a lot different. So they're actually renaming it in this case to be called the launcher in Windows 10X. And it's gonna look different than the traditional Windows 10 start menu. There's no like live tiles or anything. You can see that there's actually just static icons and there's a bunch under my apps and websites. And I believe it's kind of like on like iOS where everything you have installed on the device will show up under there, but you can rearrange them however you want, put your favorites on the home page or the main launcher page when you open it up and that sort of thing. And apparently not shown here, but you will be able to stack and put icons in folders, kind of like you would on Android or iOS. And there's also a recommended section, which will dynamically update, and that's just gonna have things like frequently and recently used apps, files, websites, whatever. And then finally at the top, there's the search bar, which apparently will integrate both web and local searches on your computer. Now with Windows 10 on the desktop, I'm not a fan of it searching the web. Like if I'm searching something, in the taskbar, I wanna find something on the computer. So there's a setting that I changed to do that. But I guess if it is a mobile device, then you are more likely to maybe wanna do a search on the web. So I don't know, maybe that'll work better in this case. You can also see what I guess you could call the taskbar looks a lot different. Like the now start menu slash windows icon is more towards the middle, almost looking like any other icon on there. But I'm assuming you can't remove that. It's kind of a big deal. And I guess that would bring up the launcher menu if you were to like swipe up on something or just tap that icon. One smaller difference they mentioned is the login interface. So it's gonna heavily use the Windows Hello feature, which is like facial recognition and 
I don't know, maybe even some devices will support fingerprint sensor. But in any case, unlike the regular Windows 10 where normally you turn on the computer or you go to log in, there's like a, a login menu, you click, and then that brings up the thing to type in your password. Apparently, it'll act like phones and stuff where as soon as you wake the device, it'll instantly take you to the authentication where you can quickly type in your password or automatically identify your face so there's not an extra step there. Now, one interesting thing mentioned in the leaked documents was a so-called modern file explorer. So it seems like they're actually gonna be redesigning the file explorer in this case, and hopefully some of these features might even be moved onto the regular Windows 10. Like we've been waiting for things like tabbed explorer forever. I don't know how they haven't released that feature yet. They say the file explorer will be more touch friendly, which I mean, hopefully since these devices are all gonna be touch screen. And then apparently it'll also be better integrated with using files that are online, like OneDrive, Office 365, where a lot of these files are stored on the cloud. In addition to local files, it'll apparently better integrate them and kind of make them more easily accessible like they were just stored on the device itself. And apparently there will be a more simplified action center when compared to Windows 10. So this will be really similar to like the notifications menu you might get on your phone where you swipe down. I don't know if you'll swipe down on Windows 10X, but it'll show like notifications and then some quick settings as well. And considering this is probably gonna be running on more mobile devices, the Windows 10X version of the action center will prioritize some things like cellular reception, brightness, battery life, or whatever. And unfortunately, I don't think there is an actual picture of what this action menu is gonna look like, but a couple defaults they mentioned, you can customize these, but the defaults will just show quick settings for like Wi-Fi, cell data, Bluetooth, airplane mode toggle, all that. Now, one good thing that's coming out of all this is apparently Windows 10X is going to allow and prioritize more Windows 32 type applications as opposed to the UWP, Universal Windows, platform applications, which no one really likes. They're kind of a pain in sometimes, but this will basically just let you run, I guess, any type of Windows application that would run on regular Windows 10. It would really suck if they locked it down more like Windows 10S, which I do believe only runs UWP applications that are from like the Microsoft Store. So it does not seem like that'll be the case here, which is good. Now, as for the release date of Windows 10X, I don't believe there's been any official announcement yet, but there have been some people saying that the first half of 2020 is looking likely as the planned release. So we can only see, but considering that Microsoft really only made a couple very brief announcements about this, like one blog post and then like one quick demo, and then the leaked documents show a lot more of this, then it probably is gonna be further out, probably towards like the second quarter of 2020, if anything. Now, as for my thoughts on this, I always think it's good that Microsoft is innovating. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use these dual screen tablets or at least some of the first generations. I'm totally happy with regular type laptops, but I don't know, maybe if they make some cool advancements on this that end up in regular Windows 10, that would always be very cool. So I'm at least excited to see what they do with this, or who knows, maybe this will actually work really surprisingly well on even regular laptops. I don't know, like maybe more really small laptops, like the Surface probably will start using that, not just the Neo. I don't know, we'll have to see. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this Windows 10X. Is this something that you think you might use? Or are you excited about getting that Windows Neo Surface dual screen thing coming out next year? Let us know. Now, if you wanna keep watching, a video I made recently is talking about the different versions of Google Chrome, the different release channels, like the beta, the developer, and even the Canary version. If you've never heard of all that, it's a pretty cool video. You can just click on that right there. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.